Hello and welcome back my vixens. Today's video is going to actually be a tutorial on how I do my animations to start off with. Let's go into the art program that I use, which is Metabang's Paint Pro for the iPad Pro, and here you can see some of the illustrations and animations that I have made, including one of the recent animation memes that I had made. And uh, here you guys can see all of the uh, sizes that I use, which is the standard YouTube's size. And of course, each of these frames, <laughs> there's at least about maybe 15 to 30 for these kinds of animations. And most of them I use looping frames if the characters are moving from one side to another so that I can reuse some of the frames, otherwise every single frame is a unique frame drawn out individually, and I usually put them in folders depending upon what current project I'm working on. So an example is each and every single one of these is the frames that I will put in certain orders per character, per scene, and once I put all of those together then they become the animations. Now, the animations that I use, I use a separate software, so after I have exported each and every single one of my frames, I will take those frames and I will take them to Fire Alpaca's GIF Maker. And here's some other examples of some of the animations that I had made a while back when I was first testing out my animation software. So I started off only doing about maybe two to five frames and then I started making more where I would do the animations in twos so I could have different animation uh, background and foreground movements for my characters so that they would have more fluidness. And this will be shown in some of my future animations, like this one, which will be in the I Am The Man meme, where I have my characters moving with a lot more movements from their head to their toes instead of just their heads. That being said, moving on to the uh, website that I use, which uh, if you go to any of your searcher browsers on your computers, tablets, or phones, you can find this. Just go to the Fire Alpaca's website, and you'll see the second tab that is on the website is the GIF Maker, where you can select files. I'm going to show you an example. This is just what I'd like to call kind of like a little shaky frame, fuzzy frame, or a wobbly frame, where I just take two images and I load those in, waiting for the images to load, where it sends the files to the Fire Alpaca GIF Maker website. Once those have successfully loaded, it'll show up down here on the right hand side, and then on the left hand side, it'll show you the frames that you can use, the FPS from 1, 2, 4, all the way up to uh, 24. I usually try to stick between 6, 8, and 12, depending upon the types of animations that I'm making. This one is just a simple one where I would use uh, 3 FPS or so, because it is only 2 frames, which I will uh, show you guys another example here where I'm going to add in the same frame, uh, except this is the starting frame. So if I had 4 frames and it's 1, 2, 3, 4, I'd add in 2 and 3 to uh, be re- reusing the frames, which I'll show you guys later, but this changes it. So this one slowed it down, so now that there's two of the same frames, so there's a longer pause to show you guys here with different examples of different frames, anywhere from two to five. And because I didn't like how that looked, I'm just doing these uh, simple wiggle frames where it's just the two pictures at three FPS. Then I click the animation thing down there where you can download it. I also turned off the Fire Alpaca's little logo that it puts on there because that is like a little watermark that we don't need. Uh, but here is uh, where I go to download it, and for computers it'll be different than tablets mine. I just touch the screen, hold down on it, and it pulls the GIF out. And what I usually do after that then is I will go and take it to a uh, GIF uh, cracker uh, thing, and it'll turn it into a video file or an MP4 file. So moving on to the videos that I usually make, which uh, this is another one of the animation memes that I had made, which was for the RPG meme. And each and every single one of these frames, I do them in sets. So this one here is three frames. In total, there is actually about five images that I use, but I reuse uh, the second and third image so that when I use them, it kind of has a back and forth bouncy motion. So instead of having to draw each and every single frame individually, my shortcut for that is kind of just like using uh, the opacity by lowering it so I can see how the frames line up with each other, and once I'm happy with how that looks, then I move on to each and every single other illustration, and some of them I will use more frames or less frames. With my character here, Dangel, I needed more frames because I wanted the character to be more expressive, and I wanted them to have a movement, so I moved the character more for that one. Now one of the things that I'm going to show you guys here is how I export each and every single one of my frames. I'm going to do two animations from 
this segment to show you what I do, and each of them I export as a JPEG file when I go to take it from uh, my fire uh, from my MetaBang to my Fire Alpacas uh, GIF maker. So what I do here is I export each and every single one of them as JPEGs, and each of those goes into the folder that I have, and I can sort the folder from there. And most of this takes anywhere from about maybe three to five minutes, so time frame wise I spend the most time actually drawing out each and every single one of the frames, uh, then I go back and edit in the colors and shading if I wanted to do shading, and then after that I export each and every single one of my frames to Fire Alpaca's GIF making website, and there is a lot of trial and error that it goes into this because I don't have uh, Fire Alpaca's uh, application on tablets because it's only for like mobile, I believe, and ta uh, computer tablets. But I make do with what I can because I'm able to uh, create each and every single frame and export them as I would with Fire Alpaca's just without the onion skin or uh, the able to see the animation before I actually export it. So what I have done here is I'm showing you guys what I do step by step with the Fire Alpaca's thing. I select them in order because uh, the way that the Fire Alpaca's website uh, registers my tablet is uh, the pictures, if I selected them out of order, it's gonna keep them in the order of 1, 2, 3, 4 <laughs> instead of like 1, 4, 2, 3. It's not going to put them in the order that I would select them, it's just gonna keep it in order. So I'm making uh, sure to keep that in mind. If you guys do this and you have like an iPad Pro, make sure that they're in the order that you want and you can adjust the order of your uh, frames and pictures by sending them to a separate folder. So I always keep spare folders uh, for my things. I'll have them either as untitled or group one, group two, so that I can separate them if I need them in a specific order. And this goes for reusing frames. If I wanted to copy and paste a couple of frames, besides exporting the JPEG, I can also do that with that by uh, duplicating the pictures and reorganizing them in the folders. And then of course with each of these, the FPS, or uh, frames per second, I always usually do 6, 8, or 12 if I'm doing something that has a lot of frames. I usually slow down the FPS if I only have maybe 3 to 5, if I wanted to do a simple GIF or a little wiggly animation, but something that's smooth enough that you can see that the character is still moving and it isn't too choppy. That being said, the more frames added, the less choppy it'll be. So, moving on to the last little segment here is to show you guys the animations that I have just created here. Uh, these are what they look like when they're all finished, and I will then take these and I'll put them into what I used actually to make this, which is my iMovie creator. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to join the Subscribler Squad by putting your paws to that subscribe button, turn on notifications for weekly content, and if you'd like to see more tutorials on Fridays instead of just animation memes, let me know what you guys would like to see for the next one, and I'll see you all next Sunday. Bye!